In this video, we will learn about data frames in R programming language. Data frames in R are table-like structures that are used to store data. Each column contains values of each variable. Each row contains a set of value related to each column. The column names are non-empty. Row name should be unique. The syntax to create a data frame is first we write the variable name followed by the left operator. After that we write data.frame and inside the brackets we write the data for which we want to make data frames. Now let us see a practical implementation of data frames in our programming language. In the first line we have created a variable with name employee.data followed by the function data.frame. So here we are trying to create a data frame using this function. Inside this we will have values employee id, employee name and salary. The employee id will have numbers from 1 to 4. The employee names will be defined using a vector like this is a vector and these will be the names of 4 people. After that this is the salary element and this will also have 4 values. Strings as vector is a parameter passed in the data.frame function and the value of this is false. Now we'll try to create this data frame. After this we'll print the values in this data frame. So now this is the data frame. The employee id is from 1 to 4. The employee name are as given in this vector and the salary is also same as given in this vector. After this, we'll try to get the structure of this data frame by using the str function. This is the structure of this data frame. It has four observations of three variables. The three variables are employee ID, employee name and salary. As given here, employee ID, it has four observations. Similarly, employee name is of type character and it has four values again and the salary is of type number and it also has four values. Now we'll try to print the summary of this data frame. The summary function will give the summary of this data frame. Like employee ID has minimum ID as 1. The first quartile is 1.75. The median of employee ID is 2.50. The mean of employee ID is 2.50. The third quartile is 3.25 and the maximum value of employee ID is 4. Similarly, employee name has a length 4. The class of employee name is character. The mode is character. If employee name was of type integer, again we've, we would have seen this kind of values. But as employee names are of type character, so it is not giving mean, median, etc. for this. Finally, the salary variable, the minimum salary is 4440. As we can see here, this is the minimum salary. After that, the first quartile is 49736. And similar to the employee ID, all the values are given here. And the maximum value of salary is 63003. After that, now we'll try to add one more column to this data frame. Now we'll run this line. This has added one more column to this data frame with the name department and the values of this are network, software, mobile and web. Now we'll again try to print the employee data. So now when we try to print the employee data, it has one more column that is department and the values are assigned as network, software, mobile and web. This is all we will do with data frames. Thank you.